Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have established the communication between Modbus TCP IP simulator device and with Fuxa WebSCADA. Okay, so here in the Fuxa WebSCADA, you can see in the device setting, we have Modbus Slave simulator device, which is connected. Here you can see the green light and here is our Modbus TCP simulator device and you can see here, Fuxa WebSCADA and this Modbus device is connected. Okay, so now in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to create a tag for our Modbus TCP device in the Fuxa SCADA and then we will create a minimal dashboard to read those tags value and how you can update those tags value from Fuxa WebSCADA dashboard. Okay, so this is what we are going to see in this video. So let's see how you can do that. So if you want to create a tag for your Modbus TCP device, then what you can do is you can click on this button edit device tag here you can click on this plus to add your tag okay now the tag name is holding register zero okay as you can see holding register zero and the register type is holding register and the type is integer 16 and the address so we are going to read the first address so i'm going to write one here okay and then i'm going to press okay so here you will see the value is zero now if i change the value to 55 then you can see we have update of 55 here in the Fuxa SCADA. Okay, the same way I can create a second tag. So again, I have to click on this plus and uh, I have to provide the tag name HR1. Okay, the register type is holding register and the type is integer 16. The address offset is 2 and I'm going to press OK. Okay, you can see 55 and 0. If I write 100 here, then you will see the 100 here in the Fuchs Ascara. Okay, now we can use this two tag to create our minimal dashboard. Okay, so let's see how you can create a minimal dashboard from this two tag. Okay, so we will click on this project edit icon and we will go to the views here. And here we will add one gauge. Okay, so circular gauge. I have added it. Now in the properties, what I can do is I can select the last option. Okay, the maximum value, uh, suppose we are going to set it to 200. Okay, so maximum value is 200. So I will set 200 here and uh, we will use like 20, sorry, 0, 20, not 20, 40, 80, 120 and uh, 160 and 180 okay and then 220 and here i'm going to change the maximum value to 220 so 220 and uh, for minimum zero we are going to have a green color okay from zero to 100 we will have a green color from 100 to 150 we will have a yellow color and uh, from 150 to 220 we will have a red color okay so that is fine now we have to attach a tag here so i'm going to attach a tag with the holding register zero so that's done now we can press okay here okay now i want to update the values from uh, fuxa scada for this second holding register which has the address one so what i can do is i can take a slider here okay now i can go to the properties of the slider i can assign the tag like holding register one i can uh, yeah scale is 0 50 100 that's fine uh, maximum is also 100 the step is one that's it i can also change the values from here like uh, green and here also i'm going to set it to green okay sorry green Okay, and we can press OK here. And also we can uh, change the direction. Okay, so if I go to the properties and I want a reverse direction, then I can set it from here. And that's it. I can save the project. Okay, and then I can go to the home here. You can see the right now value is 55 and here the value is maximum 100. Now I want to change the value of this uh, holding register from Fuxa WebSCADA. So I can slide it and based on the slider, the value is changing. Now we don't know what is the value is set by the slider. Okay, so what I can do is I can again go to the editor. I can take one output value. 
okay now here also we will assign the same tag which is our holding register one okay and we will keep it in center okay that's it we can save it and we can go to the home again okay here you can see the value is 81 right now now you can see the value is 60 or 45 okay so here is the value 45 now i am going to auto increment this okay from zero so here you can see the current value two three four okay five six seven eight okay so this is how you can read the data from your morbus tcp device your Morbus TCP device can be anywhere in your network, okay? That doesn't matter. You can connect your Fuchs SCADA with that Morbus TCP device and also you can read the values from your Morbus TCP device. Also, you can write the values to your Morbus TCP device. Right now, we have covered only holding register part, but you can also uh, do experiment with input register, input status, coil status, everything, okay? You can update the coil status from here to your uh, Morbus TCP device. You can also read the input coil status, also input register okay so if you have your inverter or if you have any Morbus gateway in your plant and if you want to read the data you want to send some update to that gateway or any inverter then you can do that from Fuchs Ascada okay so I hope this thing is clear and here you can see we are able to write the values from Fuchs Ascada okay so i hope this thing is clear and i hope that is also clear that how you can connect with your Morbus tcp device how you can create a dashboard for it how you can read the values and how you can write the values to your Morbus tcp device if you still have any question or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp also you can comment on this video also you can send me a mail on my official email and uh, here is all the link available for our social media platform you if you want to chat with me on whatsapp then you can use this telegram instagram okay so everything is available here so whatever our agenda for this video is how to create and read tag values of Morbus tcp device in fuchs SCADA and create minimal dashboard for read and write or you can say monitor and update the tag value so that we have created here you can see the value is increasing now based on this value if you want to generate any alarm then also you can do that okay uh, so Fuchsia SCADA is having a capability of alarm as well so how to set up the alarm that we are going to see in the next video okay so in the next video we will see how you can set up and add alarm in Fuchsia web SCADA for any of the tags so if you want to add alarm for this tag if the value goes beyond 150 then we want to generate alarm okay so that thing we are going to see in the next video that how you can create alarm for any particular tag okay so stay tuned for the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you